So Marvel gear and goods really came out of the gate strong, at least for us. We really loved the Doctor Strange cloaks. It was really cool. Some people didn't like them. You either loved or hated that box. The second box was a little interesting. We had kind of like the whole plate science lab thing with the beakers Salt with the P. Shakers, I think. GN. No, no, it was not them. The Loot Crate DX. Loot Crate DX did the Tetris salt and pepper shakers. But then they had the plates, which actually weren't too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, and the beaker and the ice molds and mm -hmm. I don't know. We've been on the fence about this particular subscription. It's every two months, so I'm not sure. I would think with they've got that much time in between that they could come up with some kick-ass ideas. Imagine my surprise and happiness for her when I find out that the theme is Hooray! and Sabertooth. So I'm thinking it's got to be a home run. And we opened the mailbox today and... Two boxes! And they were stuffed inside really, really tiny, small like that. So so I think it's kind of been a roller coaster with them. We went up to the top. We've been heading down ever since. And hopefully it's redeeming, especially this month. So it's March. It's the Marvel Gear and Goods box. And the theme is Sabretooth. Versus Wolverine! Yay! <laughs> Now the boxes are getting smaller and smaller and that is a bit concerning. Maybe it's a good thing because they can't send us salt and pepper shakers. Oh, I'm sure they could. I'm sure they will find a way. You could put one giant one here and one in there and then there's your salt and your pepper. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little concerned because they're getting smaller and the weight is mm -hmm. not... I would expect it just to get heavier, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, it could get smaller and lighter and bigger and heavier, but we've had some big boxes that had a lot of fluff and some yeah, small boxes that were heavy. I can't just really imagine anything goofy with Sabretooth and Wolverine. Okay. That would be... We're not going to say it again or it would come true. <laughs> ah. Oh, I see socks. Oh, let's look at the back. All right, maybe, maybe. There's a condiment shaker oh, in here cool. where you're coming. Oh, that is neat. What's yep. next? This is cool. Okay. Inside of the box. They may be redeeming themselves. Maybe. <gasps> That's actually really cool. Ah, this is cool. <gasps> is it a backpack? I don't know what it is, but it's cool. It's like a little... Travel bag? Yeah. <gasps> it's like the perfect size for me, too. This is really cool. So it's Wolverine. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a satchel of some sort. Yeah. It's a little small for me, but that's okay. I'll make it work. It's neat. It's kind of like an old school yeah. bag of some it's kind. It's like a military bag or something. And then he's got the, got the X-Men logo right here. I like it. It's neat. I really like it. Mine's kind of small though. It's perfect size for her. It's like the combination of my two favorite things, X-Men, okay, so three things, three things, uh, X-Men, Wolverine, and like military, like uh, replica stuff, you know? That's cool. I really like it. I really, really like it. Yeah, it's not bad. It won you over more than me, but I think that's because mine seems uh, really it's small. It's adjustable. Yeah, thing. but even the pouch itself seems small okay, in I'll my have, body. Like, I'll so you can, you can double, side. yes, you can do that. <laughs> Now this I know is your favorite thing right here. Yeah, so. these are really cool. Hmm. <laughs> They're uh, old school Wolverine. Wolverine socks. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> that's so cool. So we got a box. I haven't heard a squeal from that side of the room yet, so I'm concerned. <laughs> I did for that. I really like that. Well, yeah, I guess so. But it wasn't like it's cool that. more than like, oh my god, it's cute. Thank you. Powerpuff Girls said the bar is so much higher than that. What is this? Oh, this is cool. It's a head flashlight thing. Force head, yeah. This would be Sabretooth. So they've got batteries in here. <laughs> kind of like 
save that. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. I got it I all. I think it's cool. I got it all. Yeah. Like, <laughs> socks. The incredibly small, obviously small pouch. Oh, this is really cool. It looks like a chick wool ring. This is... It's like some kind of like a... Uh, a water bag or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's a water canteen. So this is really like it's roughing it, you know, because you've got socks, you've got this outdoor bag, mm -hmm. you've got a light, which I'm That's dying cool. to put the batteries in and turn on. I really like this. And you can hook it to the, yeah, hook it to the bag. Cool. So it's all like outdoorsy right stuff. I'll just have all this stuff attached to you before it's over. Hmm. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. A keyhole. <laughs> oh. That's really cool. So they're just, they, they slide inside. Yeah. Holds two to three. So it looks like a Wolverine hand. And then when the three keys come out, it's like his claws. That's really cool. That over. <laughs> That's cool. And we've got a pin of saber tooth. Very it's cool. an interesting pin. Yeah. Classified weapon X. That's cool. And this go bag. Oh, okay. So this is cool. So yeah. yeah. Well, then they got stuff blacked out like they would with a government <clears throat> weapon X. Subject has been blanked out. You've been officially drafted by the Weapon X program. In clothes, you will find specialized tactical gear to augment your mutant abilities and aid you in your missions. You become the best there is at what you do, and what you do will not be very nice. Your first assignment will be to a lot of black lines. Probably something really bad and horrific that's way beyond PG. Full details available at Addendum C. Familiarize yourself with Blank. and report to Blank. for immediate processing. Very cool. Maybe if you turn the light on, it shows yeah. the, <laughs> the secret messages that are right there. No? Okay. And that's the all new Wolverine. I didn't even know they made a female Wolverine. I'm so behind on comics, it's not even funny. This is all new Wolverine, aka Subject X23. Yeah, we haven't seen Logan. Uh, and Jonathan the Unstoppable. And the art by Cameron Stewart. So I didn't even know that. I know they made like the new Thor, which is a female Thor. But you know, I'm still in like the 60s with comics right now, okay? This gender swapping thing wasn't a thing. There was only boy and girl genders. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a crate, like a case. Like a metal old yeah, school style look at this, thing and flip it inside down and be your Yep, that's exactly what you can do. And then you'll have a nifty looking box. Which right now the box really is the only thing blowing my boxers up. I like everything in this box. It actually like had some practical use for once. Yeah. Just, I wasn't expecting a repeat of the, the robes, but Robes set the bar pretty darn high. So no salt and pepper shaker, so that's always two thumbs up. Um, yeah, no, I, I actually really liked everything in this box. Um, I feel like it's what, you know, home gear and goods should be. A little more practical, something that you can actually use. I'm just still getting used to how their, the subscription works because it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I get it. It's yeah, it's gear and goods. It's the, plates, yeah. it's socks, it's utility items. Dr. Strange robe was still the best. It was, yeah. I can see why people are complaining about their robes though, just because, uh, you know, we have a use for them, but I don't, you know, I don't think many people were <laughs> impressed with their robes. <laughs> but this is me. We liked ours. I like this box, so, you know, can't win them all. <laughs> no, that's right. I mean, you know, it was okay for me. I mean, I get the, the premise behind everything, but this will be the one and only time I'll be wearing the headlamp. And then the, the bag. 
to become two for her or we'll go on to the ever-growing shelves of stuff that will eventually go into either giveaways or eBay, eBay store. One of the two. Yep. So no clue as to what we're doing next month or two months from now, which is fine. I do know that there was an email that came out that said we had to verify our t-shirt sizes by May 1st. Otherwise, whatever you have on file is going to be it. So I'm assuming it's going to be a shirt. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe it's a tank top version of the Dr. Strange robe. <laughs> so on that note, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, below. and share with your friends. Until next time, stay weird. Bye.